Hey everyone, let's continue to talk about the linear accelerator, more specifically about its treatment head. The treatment head has several components that will shape the beam, monitor, that can generate one type of beam and so on. Let's talk about them. Here we are in the photons mode. The head will have a different configuration if using the photons or electrons mode. In this one, we are, we are in the photons mode. In the photons mode, the target will be in the beam path in order to produce X-ray uh, beam. The electrons will hit the target and generate X-rays. Because Linux produces electrons in the megavoltage range, the X-ray intensity is peaked in the forward direction, but we still have to deal with the beam divergence and how we do that, we have a primary collimator there. After the X-ray target, there is this fixed primary collimator that will collimate the beam in the attenuate of focal radiation. Then the beam go, can go through a flattening filter or not. A flattening filter is inserted in the beam to make the beam intensity uniform across the field. If treating without the flattening filter, the energy will be a FFF flattening filter free energy. Next comes the ion chambers. The function of the ion chambers to, is to monitor the dose rate, monitor the integrate dose and the field symmetry. After passing through the ion chambers, the beam is further collimated by a continuously movable X-ray collimator. This secondary collimator consists of two pairs of lead or tungsten blocks that we call jaws that provide a rectangular opening. In addition to the jaws, the LINAC can have multi-leaf collimators to provide a regularly shaped field and intensity modulation for IMRT, IMRT uh, treatments. Last, there is a slot for physical edges, blocks, compensators used for beam shaping. Here we are in the electrons mode. In the electron mode, the target, the X-ray target is moved out of the way. We don't, we are treating with electrons. We don't need X-ray production. Remember that the electrons emerging from the exit window of the accelerator tube are in the form of a pencil beam of about three millimeters in diameter. As a pencil beam, it passes through the primary collimator. The primary collimator is a fixed collimator. It will be there, but it will not make much difference for the electron uh, pencil beam that is going through. The en high energy electrons then strike a scattering foil and uh, to produce a broad beam of electrons. So the fu function of the scattering foil is to spread the electron beam as well as to make it uniform in cross-section. Accelerators with magnetically scanned beam do not require scattering foils. Others use one or more scattering foils to spread the beam as well to give a uniform dose distribution across the treatment field. Next comes the ion chambers. They are always there as well. They are there to monitor dose rate, integrate dose, and field symmetry. Uh, because electrons scatter uh, readily in air, uh, electron applicators collimate electron beam close to the patient's surface, approximately five centimeters away. So let's watch a little bit more of that video we started in the previous presentation. The video is called How a Linear Accelerator Works is from Electa. It's on YouTube. Here it is, the video How a Linear Accelerator Works is from Electa. It's on YouTube. Here is the head of the uh, LINAC. Let me start this. So we can see that the high energy electron beam will hit the target uh, at, at one end and the X-rays will be produced generated at the other end. Uh, we can see right here the divergence of the beam and the primary collimator. Uh, the primary collimator will attenuate any photon that is not within the collimator opening. Here we can see the X-ray beam profile without a flattening filter. Let me 
start this again. And with a flattening filter, uh, the beam, with the flattening filter, the beam becomes flat. That means the beam intensity is uniform across the field. Here, uh, right after the flattening filter, we have the ion chambers. Uh, remember that the ion chambers will monitor those rate, integrate those, and field symmetry. Here we have the uh, secondary collimators, jaws, and multi-leaf collimator to further shape the beam. So those are additional videos re uh, related to x-rays. If you have not watched them, the links are in this video description. Uh, those are the sources I have used for this presentation. So this is it, guys. Thanks for watching.